and then Paul O'Grady, uh, reconstructions of 14 episodes from series one, a full episode of the Avengers predecessor police surgeon with introduction, um, filmed episode introductions by Julie Stevens, uh, it says Gal Force Part 1 interview with Honor Blackman. So, yeah, there's a lot of extra um, special features on this. I've also got Season 3. There we are. There we are. Uh, it starts off in, in black and white, this show, and um, I think the fourth or fifth season it changes to colour. So, yeah, this is a really well-known British show, um, plenty of action. Uh, it's like a spy sort of um, show. So if you like your spy sort of shows, um, you'll pretty much like this show. Uh, it stars uh, Patrick McNee, and he's also got a um, female offsider in each of the seasons. Um, they change actresses um, later on the series. Um, so yeah, this lady's name's Honor Blackman as Kathy Gale. There we are. She, that's the character she plays. There we are. And I've also got season four. There we are. So it's got seven DVDs in it. So it's quite a big season. They made more episodes um, in this show or back back in the sixties. Um, they made more episodes than they do these days of um, TV shows. So you get more in it. And this has also got lots of special features, over six hours of special features. There we are. And of course, I had to pick up season five. There we are. That's where, I think that's where the colour episodes start. Season five, I think. And that's also got um, over six hours of special features. There we are. So I'm very happy with these. Um, I saved a huge amount off what, what the normal price would be. And this is the last season. It went for six seasons. There we are. And um, he's got a new offsider as well, as you can see. Her name's Linda Thorson, and she plays Tara King. I haven't really seen many much of this show before. I've heard of it, and I've seen it on um, TV here in Australia late at night, in the middle of the night, but I haven't really watched it much, but I've heard it's a good show, so I thought I'd check it out. And I've got more. This is not all. This is a huge box that I've got full of movies and TV shows. Um, where else? We've got... This is another great show. I've never really watched it before much before but it's a pretty well known old show um it's ghost and mrs muir here we have that season one this i heard it's a good show it's similar to or well, it's about the around about the era of i dream of genie and bewitched when they had start had having um sort of magic sort of shows on um so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing that there we are Good family sitcom. And that stars Edward Woodward, who you might remember from um, Knight Rider. He was the, um, like the boss for Michael Knight in Knight Rider. And I've got season two, and this is the last season because it only went for uh, two seasons. And I got this really cheap as well. These were. Well, they're usually around 20 or $30 each, and I got up for about $8 something a season, so I was very happy with that. That's a very good buy. There we are. And I've got lots of classic um, movies released. Um, these are all from Universal. Um, it's from the same company. I bought all this with the sale. I'll go through them all. The first one I got... And this is based on a TV show. They also made some movies. So uh, it's called McHale's Navy. You might remember the TV show. That was a great show. Uh, I've got to pick that up still. I haven't got the complete series of McHale's Navy yet. So this, they made two movies of this. Um, the first one was called McHale's Navy, the movie, I think. And then this is the second movie. 
I uh, got this very cheap. This was only about three dollars something. It's usually about nine or ten. So yeah, I got that pretty good price. It stars John Flynn and Tim Conway. He, Tim Conway uh, died last year or the year before, so he had a pretty long life. I think he was about eighty something. So this looks like a fun movie to watch. I want to get the other one as well, but the other one wasn't on sale for a cheap price, so I didn't buy that. That was just normal price. And you also get some special features in this, isolated music and the FX audio track featuring score by Jerry Fielding. Uh, it says a new man at the helm doesn't necessarily mean plain sailing when the crew of the PT-73 fly, fly straight into mayhem. When his torpedo boat sinks in suspicious circumstances, Captain Binghamton's Binghampton's escort to Brisbane is assigned to a, a signed Parker, temporary skipper of the PT-73. Despite restricted shore leave, it doesn't take long for the crew of misfits to befriend a Russian, Russian merchant vessel crew with hilarious consequences. But you can always count on McHale's Navy to comically stumble their way to victory and save the day. Uh, the sequel to the original big screen outing, McHale's Navy brought Tim Conway to the fore in one of the PT-73 crew's zaniest adventures. Join the original tele de television cast members, including Joe, Joe Flynn, Bob, Bob Hastings, Gary Mc Gavin uh, McLeod, uh, plus Ted Bessel in the beautifully restored um, widescreen transfer. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I like this sort of comedy. It's a pity we don't have um, this sort of comedy now. Um, really enjoyed that. I've also got lots more. This is called Banning. I've never seen this show before, but it looked interesting. I mean, uh, the movie. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's all the, all these movies are from the Universal Vault collection. They brought all these mo great movies out. Uh, this stars Robert Wagner, who you might remember from Heart to Heart. And um, It Takes a Thief, remember that TV show? He was in that. That was a great show as well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking that out. Um, I'll just read what it's about. Uh, it says, the action begins when the auction ends. Mike McDermott moves in with a firm, firmness which marks him for what he is, an uh, athlete. But his playboy lifestyle has seen him kicked off the golf pro circuit when accused of match fixing and with the new name of banning hustles from one country club and wo woman to another to make a life living both on the course and in the clubhouse. Uh, barely into the swing of his job as assistant golf pro, banning is approached by Doc Brewer, a murderous ex-con whom he owes money for financing his early career. Doc's, Doc is in to the mob for $40,000 and they want the money. So Banning sweet talks the country club high rollers into backing a calcula, Calcutta high stakes auction golf tournament. So yeah, it sounds like an interesting movie. I'll give it a shot and see what it's like. There we are. I've also got some more. This is called, you've probably um, been on a long time ago. Uh, it's called The Art of Love, and it stars James Garner, from who you remember from the Rockford Falls. That was a great show. I also got some well-known other cast members, Dick Van Dyke and Angie Dickinson from Police Woman. So, yeah, there's a lot of great actors and actresses in this. I'll just read quickly what this is about. It says Paul Sloan didn't think dying would be the best career move a struggling artist could make. But when he goes missing, presumed dead, following heroic, heroic jump into the scene to save a beautiful woman, his roommate Casey realises there's money to be made in selling his dear departed buddy's paintings, which have now skyrocketed in value. When Paul turns up very much alive, Casey convinces him to play dead and create new artworks. Uh, um, they can flog for top dollar. It sounds like a brilliant con until Paul's American fi fiance turns up. So yeah, that sounds quite interesting. Got a good plot line there. And this one's got a one-on-one person, a familiar person. 
Uh, this is called Stone, Stone Street, and this stars Barbara Eden from I Dreamy Genie. So I'm looking for, I haven't seen many of her films apart from seeing I Dreamy Genie. I love seeing that um, when I was younger. Um, so it's just like an interesting movie. It's called, um, no, it's actually called Who Killed the Centerfold Model. Yeah, so I'm looking for, I think this was made in the 70s. So she probably made this after Dreamy Dini, I think, or before, I'm not sure. It says Liz Bone Street became a private eye to carry on her husband's thirst for law and order after he was killed in the line of duty. Her latest case involves the disappearance of a young hoodlum named Eddie, whose mother has hired Stone Street after he has been missing for eight, day, eight days. Always willing to go deep undercover, Stone Street takes a job as an usher at the porno theatre where Eddie worked and soon discovers he is linked to stolen diamonds and missing Harris, who may have been making dirty movies under an assumed name. Despite warnings from the police and her boss, Stone Street puts her life at risk to expose the CD secret. Famous for her role in I Dream of Jeannie, Barbara Eden becomes their unofficial 1970s TV movie of the week queen, appearing in numerous and firmly remembered roles. So yeah, this looks interesting as well. Here we are, so I'll check that out soon as well. And this next one that's got a lot of movies all in one collection, uh, you can get these separately as well, but um, I think I paid $15 or something for this. It's usually uh, I think about 50 or 60. So yeah, it's a good saving. Um, this includes um, four movies. Uh, one of them's called The Sorrowful Jones, and that stars Bob Hope and Lee Seal Ball. So yeah, they, they're usually great comedians, um, pretty much like a lot of their movies and TV shows. Um, Lucy Ball was good in Here's Lucy and the other ones she did, and Bob Hope's a good comedian. Uh, the next one on this collection is the Benny Goodman story. And the next one after that, this was an inter this is the main one I wanted to see. Um, or wanted to get. It's called the Brass Bottle. This was a, um, inspired. Um, for them to make I Dream of Genie. So they did this before I Dream of Genie. And it stars Barbara Eden as well in this. And Tony Randall as well from The Odd Couple. And yeah, so it look, that looks interesting as well. And the last one on here is called uh, Pale Face, The Pale Face. And that's got Bob Hope in it as well. I've heard this one's a good one. I'll just read quickly what it's about. It says in one of the most popular roles, comedy legend Bob Hope plays painless Peter Potter, a timid correspondent school dentist earning a shaky living in the lawless West. When painless is seduced into agreeing to a quickie marriage by his, by the flamptuous, it's hard to say, sorry, uh, Jane Russell, he thinks his luck has changed. Little does he suspect that Russell is actually sharpshooter Calamity Jane, hot on the trail of a dangerous renegade gang who was using paintless, painless as her cover and, and witting dupe. So yeah, that sounds good as well. So I'm looking forward to getting this. You can get all these second single. Um, I think you usually pay about nine or $10 a movie, maybe more. So yeah, I've got a lot of the universal movies now and I'm happy with the Avengers. So yeah, I'm going to be doing another great um, live video for you guys shortly as well i'm expecting to order some more sales that i've got on from another place uh, so thanks guys for sticking with me and um if you haven't already subscribed please do and leave me comments i'd like to hear what you guys think of these movies if you've seen them before or tv shows um and tell me if you've picked up anything interesting lately all right guys thanks for giving me your time i'll catch up with you guys very very soon take care